Hey guys, my name is Elizabeth Hernandez. I'm a sophomore studying systems engineering, and as you can probably tell, I'm running to be your next academic coordinator. But Elizabeth, you may ask, how did you go from being a Science Day VP to wanting to run for academic coordinator? Aren't those two very different positions? Well, yeah, yeah they are. Truth is, even if I know what it's like to succeed, I also know what it's like to struggle. In fact, I know what it's like to give it your all and still come up short. But that's not why I want to be your academic coordinator. I don't want to be just to sympathize with people and be someone who can tell you, yep, been there, done that. There are plenty of people in all of your lives who do that without being in Ship's eboard. Me? I want to provide resources. I want to make it easy for every single one of you to get the academic help you want and need. Sure, you probably all know about the think tank and are painfully aware that your professor's office hours are during incredibly inconvenient times. <laughs> but have any of you ever heard of the Writing Skills Improvement Program, also known as the best writing, tutor, like, writing tutoring on campus? How about Tau Beta Pi's weekly study sessions just for engineers? Do you know you can get 15 hours of community service just by uploading your notes for a class you have to go to anyways to the Disability Resource Center? Well, now you do. And as your next academic coordinator, I will reveal many more of these wondrous little secrets and hunt down even more. I know firsthand that our SHIP chapter has been making incredible strides in emphasizing academic success to our general body members. However, I believe that to make this dream a reality, we still need a push in the right direction. And I believe I have that kind of arm strength. Metaphorically, of course, I haven't been to the gym in months. <laughs> then again, as the famous quote goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. As your next academic coordinator, I will ensure that study sessions are more than just once a week. In fact, I will aim for a minimum of 10 weekly hours so that everyone has a chance to swing by, even for just a little bit. In addition, I will bring back study jams where professors of classes like Chem 152, Physics 241, and ECE 175 would provide study, session, study sessions exclusively for SHIP members right before a big exam or by popular demand. I will also organize different kinds of workshops and panels for the general body members with topics ranging from how to write a good scholarship essay to um, what I wish I would have known my freshman year to, yeah, Engineering 102A was a super easy one credit class, but I still don't know what I want to study here at the U of A. Oh, and you juniors and seniors who are looking at me and thinking, you're only a sophomore, Elizabeth. You don't know what it's like to be an upperclassman. So what could you possibly do for me? Well, hold on, give me a chance. Sure, I don't have any personal experience dealing with some of your academic troubles and blunders you all have gone through, but that doesn't mean I'm not fit to be your academic coordinator. I hear you when you struggle with motivation to keep your grades up because you've simply run out of mental energy. I hear you when you say you're terrified to think about life after college or sometimes have even no idea where to begin that, that train of thought. I hear you when you're tired of applying to dozens and dozens of internships and co-ops and job positions only to get rejected or worse, not even hear back from them. I recently heard from an alum uh, that during his junior year, he applied to over 150 different job positions, got eight interviews, and in the end, only got three job offers. As your next academic coordinator, I will cooperate with all of you to ensure that your most basic academic needs are met. If I don't know how to fix the problem myself, I surely I will find someone else who can. I know that asking for help can sometimes be terrifying, or sometimes impossible, but where there is a will, there is a way. I've already served a full academic year as an officer for this fantastic club, so I know what it's like to take to not only get the job done, but how to do it well. If I didn't truly believe that I was qualified and motivated enough to be on SHIP's eboard again, I would not be standing here giving this very speech. That is why I, Elizabeth Hernandez, am your best candidate to be next year's academic coordinator. Thank you.